okay, so Momsy is not a drummer, as you obviously saw, but Awesome Dude is a drummer, and he goes to lessons and needs this fancy carrying case for his drumsticks, and Momsy knows how to make that. So join us for the tutorial, won't you? Welcome to another Mumsy video. Today we are going to make a cover for some drumsticks. Sort of a carrying case slash uh, drum stick protector. So I'm going to go over the supplies you'll need. First, Awesome Dude is very obsessed with giraffes. You may have noticed from his videos, uh, they're at the bottom, you can see where they are. Um, his Roblox character is a giraffe, so we picked up this nice micro suede giraffe material. So you'll need some material. Uh, the more it doesn't fray when you cut it, the better, because then we don't have to finish all the edges. And uh, we'll only need a little bit of that. We're only going to make a, a thin carrying case. You'll need the drumsticks that you want to cover just for measurement purposes some matching thread and a sewing machine to sew or you could do it by hand if uh, that's how you roll and a marking tool I like to use either chalk or the useless white crayon always works for marking up fabric that's the only good use for it <laughs> and a ruler for measuring and uh, we're going to get started. I'm just going to move the camera so that you can see a little bit better what we're going to do. I hope you guys can still hear me. If not, I will put the captions up anyway of what you're supposed to do. So we're going to get our fabric situated here. We're back and I've got my fabric folded in half and laid out and I basically want enough that it will cover the sticks plus a little bit because we're going to make a little flap that goes over the top to make sure it's extra close. So here we go. Now, we're going to measure our sticks. 12, 4, so 16 inches. They're only an inch across, so we're going to give it a seam allowance. We'll want to cut this. So if they're one inch across, we're going to give it a good two and a half inches, just so we have some room to throw. If uh, Awesome Dude wants to put a pen or, or extra drumsticks or whatever in there, we're going to mark that up all the way across and we know we have 16 inches um, to fit let's make sure that's two and a half here all right so they're going to be thin and we also need 16 plus some because we want a flap that goes over the top of one of them so here's 16 from here. Now we need a seam allowance on both sides, so that we're going to add an inch for that. And on one of them, we're going to add another four. Yeah, it too big, obviously. See how that is? And we've got the flap that goes down like this. We don't need that on both, only one. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure... is here plus the seam allowance and we're going to draw a line here and on one of these flaps because we've cut two we're going to cut it at that line
There we go. Now to save this piece, because it is going to be used to hold the flap down. Yes. <laughs> so there we have it. Now, so now we've got a, a little bit of a band. We've got the main piece and the over flap happening here. Now, the next step we're going to do is we want to put a little bit of a strap on the back. Um, just so that awesome dude, when he's running to his lesson or whatever, he can just grab it and maybe stick a notebook in between or whatever too. So now that we've got the measuring right, we're going to take this smaller piece, lay it out. We can just do this single. And we're going to cut another one. Anyway, so the first step we're going to do in the actual sewing is make this lovely strap. And what we'll do, if you have an iron, you can use it. Um, micro suede irons quite well. We're going to put right sides together and we're going to sew down the long end, leaving both sides open so we can flip them and place them and then sew them down. <laughs> um, we're back and I'm going to show you. I sewed along that long end there with not too much of a seam allowance. What we're going to do now is flip it around to the front. Uh, the way I do that normally is just to hook a safety pin onto one end and run it all the way through and see it'll flip as you're going. You. What you'll want to do is flip these ends in so that none of the ends of the fabric are showing like that. Let me see. I'll do this one as well. I like to have the seam on one side and we'll flip this in just a little bit don't need much and what we're going to do after we press this kind of flatter is we're gonna either sew just these ends down so that they're there and then we'll attach them I like to do a little bit fancy and put a little bit of striping in here just to make the handle a little more sturdy and decorative and more pro <laughs> okay, we're back and we've got it now sewn. Can you see that? I'll show you the underside. I sewed it in a lighter color just so that you could see that a little bit better. We've got those ends sewn in there. And what we are going to do is place the strap onto the back of our carrying case now. So you'll want the one, the longer one, the one with the over flap um, piece on it. And we'll want to place that pretty close to the bottom. Can you see how close that is? Maybe an inch off. We need some room for the um, seam allowance when we sew the pieces together. So we'll just kind of pin that there. It's about an inch, maybe a centimeter and a half. It's, uh, we'll go in off of that and then pin the top about here. like so and what we are going to do is sew a little box on the end here just to secure the ends of the handle and then another box here okay we are back and I've got the little box attachment done here you can see it there um, I'll show you the other end so you can kind of see it how I've sewn it and this and is also attached so we'll have a handle <laughs> of course it doesn't look like much yet but I assure you it will happen so do you remember this tiny piece that we cut off from the front of our carrying case what we're gonna do is we're gonna treat it like the strap we're gonna fold right sides together and we're gonna sew along the long end the same and then turn it in turn it uh, right side out and then I'm gonna put a little bit of decorative striping on it 
This time we don't have to do the ends because they will be sewn in um, when we sew the whole thing together. And Okay, now I have sewn this little holder piece. I put it, this time I've put the seam at the back here instead of to the side. And I, again, I did not close the ends because they will be sewn inside anyway. So the next part we're going to work on is this little flap piece. And the first thing I would like to do is take my scissors and kind of round this off a bit. I don't want it so boxy. Like just slightly, you know, just so that when it comes down here, it doesn't look like a total square thing. And so what we're going to do is kind of put this together now. You always want right sides together, so we're going to flip the back like this. And we're going to put this on top now. Notice this piece has got to go in here. We want it near the top. Near the top, right about oh, an inch or so down. We want to make sure that this will fit in there. Okay, we are back and we are at my sewing machine. Can you see Freddy over there? <laughs> He's hiding. Um, I have decided that we are going to actually hem this piece a little bit first. So this is the top of the um, front of the main flap here. So we're just going to sew across here. I don't know if this is going to... It's my hand in the way. <laughs> it's kind of tricky doing this. The GoPro is like right on my sewing machine. Anyway, I'm just going to unpin it and sew that part. Anyway, now we're going to start right here. And very hard to not get my fingers in the way here. I'm left handed, so I thought this would be better on the right, but. got this nicely sewn but we need to trim some of that that um, extra little flap off here and if you, if you want you can kind of do a little bit of a snip over on these corners so that when we turn it right side out it'll be a little bit easier and you can also trim down these seams not too close we don't want it unraveling on us, but just a little bit there. Let me turn it right side out here. Oh, it's easy when you have the handle. <laughs> now with this flap, I'm just going to very carefully sew this down like a hem. Kind of try to round it. <laughs> it's not going to be all that pretty but do you see what I mean I'll sew it like that and I'll come back and show you what hey okay, we are back again and you'll see I've just sort of done this um here let's put the sticks in here there we go and then close it up like so and look at that can you see it right there and we'll have a little handle so you can hang it off your drum set or whatever you might want to do let me put this up so you can kind of see and there you go we've got a handle we've got a closure you could also put a few more sticks maybe two more sticks might fit in there but it's a nice compact little carrier now so, as
as always, if you liked that one, it, uh, let me know by liking the uh, video, uh, comment, subscribe, click the bell. Uh, do you like sewing tutorials? This is the first one we've done on this channel. Um, I also have a website that we can use to upload patterns. This one didn't need a pattern, but I can also do that for upcoming tutorials if uh, you like this style. Um, hopefully it was bright enough and you'll be able to see everything once I get it edited. And uh, let me know if you've tried it. I'd like to hear your uh, thoughts. I think that awesome dude's going to be a pretty cool giraffe drummer with this thing. <laughs> and it didn't take too much time or skill level is pretty easy and not too much fabric. It didn't cost us a fortune to make. So... And uh, I don't think any other drummer is going to have a cool thing like this. Anyway, um, yeah, bye-bye for now.